Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to uh, modify our app bar. So we already made an app bar underscore sample at Dart file and already have our class. Then we are going to have our app bar inside our scaffold. So let's try to add our app bar, app bar property, and then the app bar widget. Let's save it. Then inside our app bar, we are going to have the property of the title then we're going to use text widget and the text would be up bar sample to remove this blue zigzag line we're just going to add const here then save it now you have your up bar sample so if you want to change the color of your up bar let's say color our background color and color let's say green now you have your up bar if you want to change it to blue then the color of your up bar will be blue now let's try to modify the up bar by adding more properties and more widgets so in this example we are going to use the leading property of the up bar and then we're going to use drawer button widget save it now you have here a drawer button now if you want to add other um, widgets inside your up bar still inside your up bar we can use the property actions now inside the actions we can have a list of widgets we can have for example, if you want to add um, an icon button or icon, let's say icon uh, person, save it. Now you have here an icon. If you want to add another widget, let's say So search and then we'll save it so you have here two icons on your app bar now what if you want this icon to navigate to another page how are you going to do that in your icon you're just going to wrap that with another widget which is The gesture detector now that you have your gesture detector widget you wrapped your icon widget let's say you're going to uh, wrap the person icon person icon let's remove this one okay let's wrap this one gesture detector then you are going to place a comma here then type the on top property now that we added the on top property we're going to use parentheses and the curly braces then inside the curly braces we're, we're going to use the navigator dot push change the root to material page root material page root and then the builder change to context see we have here we'll select this one and then we're going to type the home page class at the end we'll try to place here semicolon save it let's try after clicking this icon now we are navigated to another page let's go back so that is how you add an on top property to the icons that you place on your app bar i hope this tutorial was very helpful to you see you on my next videos